All right, we're going to take a look at the experiment review. I don't know what accent that was. Um, so let's just take a look. So there are two rules that we should remember uh, when we're dealing with exponents. And that is if we're multiplying variables, uh, we add the same, or sorry, we add the exponents. So here we can add the 5 and the 2. So this will actually be x to the 5 plus 2 is 7. x to the 7th over x to the 3. We didn't do anything with that. So if we're multiplying variables, we add the exponent, uh, add the exponents. And then if we're dividing variables like this, we're dividing here, we subtract the exponents. And this would be x to the 4th, because 7 minus 3 is 4. And so you'd have that. Now what if we had x to the 3 over x to the 7th. Well, I would still do 7 minus 3, and that's still 4, but the bigger exponent is on the bottom, so that would actually change to uh, x to the 4th on the bottom. It stays on the bottom because the bigger one is on the bottom. But in the top, we just have a 1. Or you could, I think, I mean, that's, in my opinion, the easy way to do it, the, the short way. Or you could do 3 minus 7, that's negative 4. And anytime we have a negative exponent, you bring it down to the bottom and put a 1 on the top. Because uh, it's actually like 1 times this anyway, so the 1's still there no matter what. But once you move it to the other side, you would get uh, a positive exponent. Uh, same idea, what if, what if you had 1 over x to the negative 4? Well... Same idea, except for the negative exponent is already in the bottom, so you would just bring that to the top. That would come up to the top, so you'd have, you could say 1 times x to the 4th, and then over 1, but you actually don't need either of those ones. You can put it, if you write it down, it's not wrong, but um, there you go. So those are, these are the same thing, it's important to remember. Alright, that's example 1.